Well, hello guys, amazing LEGO123 here. This time with another LEGO Mix of Series 3 review. This is on my first of the Spikers tribe, and it is Hoogie. He's set 41523, and of course, just like all mixers, he comes in a bag. And this time for the uh, Spikers tribe, we actually get kind of a silvery grey bag, so that's pretty cool. And then on the back, you can see the Spikers Max, which we need Scorpy, Footy, and Hoogie to make. And then the rest of Series 3, which I have reviewed Torts already and Wiz Wars. But anyway, that's it for the bag. Let's find out what this bag builds. Okay, and there is Hoogie, and I have to say this guy is pretty, uh, pretty nice. He's got a really funny design with these with big long arms, but he's got a really small body. And before we get to him, this is the spike hole that comes with the Nixle. And if you want to know what the Nixle looks like, it is the same one, obviously, from what Series 2 and Series 1 had. Um, obviously, all the Nixles are the same. There's just, so now there is three, when Series 3 came out, there was three of this kind of Nixle and then three of the other two kinds of Nixels. So he is kind of the block e Nixel, and that's nice to get him. So another Nixel to add to your collection. So here is Hoogie, and uh, as you can see, he's got really, really big arms, but a really, really small body, and really, really small legs. And as you can see with the legs, they did go with what they were doing with all the other two is where you get that kind of weird walk because of the way you put them on where it's like that kind of walk and that kind of walk does actually look pretty funny as you can see he's got these two big teeth here and of course the goofy eyes and he's kind of a weird I don't know what to describe his shape it's kind of weird small really really compact but then when you add on the arms he just kind of makes sense for him to come with an Ixel because he can just like grab this guy and just like pick him up and then throw him about if you wanted to. And I'll just take a quick look at the arms because they are both the same. They've got both of them have two of the miniature ball and socket joints. You could actually use them to walk on and you could like use them as a handstand. So if you like get them like kind of that you can have him walking on his hands or something and you can really get him in some pretty funny uh, positions like a nice little boo and you just come in right at you and as you can see we have got claws on each hand so that's nice and I have to say each hand is actually pretty big for the size of this guy the hands are almost as big as his body I mean they're a lot bigger than his arms and his feet and they, these are just hands so, yeah, it's really interesting to see what this guy will be like in the little cartoon show. And I know I forgot to do this at the start, but we'll just take a quick look at the instructions. The front of it is the same as the front of his um, bag. The back has got the new win. Uh, I'm not going to show you that page because that's where you get the game code. Then we have Series 1 here, which I have all of those. Series 2, which I have all of those. And Series 3, which I actually have four of because I also picked up Glurt here from the uh, the Glurt Cup, and then you can see Series 2. And then we get another good look at the Spikles mats, which is really funny. These Spikles look really, really funny, I have to say. And then just the build, of course. So, yeah, that's about it for uh, Hoogie. And, uh, yeah, overall, I really like this little guy. You've got to give his rating a 10. Uh, he's pretty funny. I really like him. You can kind of have him get down to business by having his 
just have his fingers crossed like there and he just sat on a big chair or something and he's just like, right, let's get down to business. Or something like that. But overall this guy is pretty funny. I definitely recommend this guy out of all the uh, Nick Mixels I've series 3 I've collected so far. It is really, really funny. And I uh, definitely recommend him if you want another Nixel, of course. So yeah, that's about it for this Mixel. Please stay tuned for more Series 3 Mixels reviews and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!